Hello, this is one of our silly bow games that we play, and it's, it's not so silly. We have, um, we're teaching technique and to get rid of tension in the body and to have the correct bow hold. So you make sure you have your correct bow hold to start off with. So you make sure you have no tension, no tension in your arm. You want to drop down at your side. Hang like a monkey. You have your two hugger fingers together. Make sure that pinky is in the inside of your hexagon. Very relaxed. They can be very close together, not stretched out. On the inside, you have this bent thumb. When you have your bent thumb, you want it right at the tip of your fingernail, not on the pad, you're pushing out. So what you really wanna have is the bow is actually bouncing and being controlled by these three fingers. And these two hugger fingers always pull it in. So you want to have your, your hand relaxed enough so you can move back and forth because when you're bowing, your hand is naturally or your, sorry, your wrist is going to be moving back and forth. And as we discovered in class today, if you're doing it with your arm, you're going to be going sideways over your bridge and have all kinds of tension and no control of your bow. Now, with our song, we're working on keeping that bow hold, keeping the tension out of our shoulder, um, but also keeping our, our fingers and strengthening our fingers to do all kinds of to things so that when we go in the, the violin, it's easier. So here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Now on that part where you're going swish, 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 you, you still have your, your shoulder drop down, but you're using this going back and forth and your fingers are controlling so you maintain control of the bow but you still want to be loose enough so you can move everything all right the horn on the bus goes beep 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 the horn on the bus goes beep 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 all through the town still keeping that shoulder drop the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town and you still just want to use your, your shoulder as a fulcrum or a little joint that moves back and forth. You don't want to shrug it up. So the driver on the bus goes, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus goes, move on back all through the town. Get out my alternative violins. The babies on the bus go, where, 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 where. The babies on the bus go, where, where, where all through the town and you notice with that one our wrists are loose our shoulders are down not up like this but down we're using our nice relaxed wrist the don't shoot yourself in the face the mommies on the bus go shh the mommies on the bus go shh all through the town now you don't hit yourself in the face because you have proper thumb bent on the tip and it's balancing against this, your first finger, and then your pinky is completing that. So you can either go back and forth like this, but don't hit yourself in the face. And that is our Wheels on the Bus exercise for bows.